Hey y'all, welcome to Skyrim Scripting. On this screencast tutorial series, I'm going to teach you how you can create your very own Skyrim mods. Now there are a number of tutorial series out there that teach you how to create Skyrim mods. And one of the goals of this series is getting you up and running and to the point where you feel comfortable and ready to watch those other screencast tutorial series. You should watch them, they are fantastic. But a number of them start in tools that you don't have installed yet. They may start off by saying, here we are in the Skyrim creation kit and we're going to do this and that. Well, what I'm going to do with you is hold your hand and we're going to install the Skyrim creation kit together and get through some of the bugs and issues that you go through when installing it that I don't think enough folks uh, record and share so that it's really, really easy for you to see how to install that tool and configure it. Because for example, by default, some of the configuration is wrong and you're going to need to figure that out by yourself. No, we're going to do it together. So that's just an example of what we're going to do. If you're ready, head on over to that video playlist, click through, the very next thing we're going to do is install Skyrim. Because I don't have Skyrim installed on this computer, uh, I reformatted this PC just for the screencast tutorial series so that everything I have is something we will install together. And I've organized the series so we should only need a few things each episode and we'll install them as we go along. I've also tried to start off with the fun episodes. Um, next episode, we're going to install Skyrim just to show you how to install it into a C folder that's not program files because that'll be very useful and prevent your creation kit from crashing when we use the creation kit fixes. But after that, we install the creation kit and by the end of that 30 or so minute episode, you will have your very own mod running on your instance of Skyrim. Now this is oriented towards running Skyrim on the PC. We're not going to be covering the console. This is also a screencast tutorial series that's focused on the scripts, the scripting aspects of things. Uh, we're not going to be focusing on making textures or meshes or animations and things like that because there are other screencasters that cover those things, but you should still probably feel more comfortable watching those tutorial videos after going through this series that should get you set up. Now I'm going to touch on one point before we close. You may have heard, if you've been modding Skyrim, that scripts are bad and mods with scripts or mods that are script heavy are bad. Well, let me just kind of bust your bubble. That's wrong. Um, Skyrim itself comes with about 13,900 scripts. The game wouldn't work without scripts. It's how, it's how everything works. If you talk to an NPC and say, give me five gold and they give you five gold, well, a script ran. Uh, if uh, someone starts following you, an NPC does stuff. These things are all script based. So what folks mean when they say scripts are bad or script heavy mods are bad, they're referring to certain mods out there that may slow down your Skyrim because their scripts are written poorly. Um, which is going to be something that we will try not to do. Normally those scripts will run very, very, very frequently and do a lot. So that's something we're going to avoid and we'll try and teach you how to avoid it. So I just wanted to touch on the scripts are bad. They're not. So head on over to that playlist series. If you want to, you can hang out with me. Do you want me to show you kind of what we're going to go through? Let's do that. Let me go over to the desktop. So I should be able to point at stuff. Although my uh, X split that I'm running is making part of my jacket go away all the time. I just reformatted and my green screen stuff isn't working nearly as well. So deal with it. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm not a professional screencaster. I'm trying to do what I can to share this material with you and make it easy to go through. So I'm sorry. Uh, we're, re we're recording this first one right now. The intro to Skyrim scripting. Hooray, we're good. Next, we're going to install Skyrim. And again, most importantly, we're going to install it outside of the program files directory. 
If you already have Skyrim installed and you really don't want to reinstall Skyrim, you can attempt to go through this series. Uh, there's something we're going to be using with Creation Kit called Creation Kit Fixes that makes Creation Kit about 1000% more pleasant to use. For example, the Creation Kit by default takes about three or so minutes to load, and this gets the load, the load time down to about under 10 seconds. It's a lot better. It's worth you considering uninstalling Skyrim, install it to something like C Steam. Um, like uninstall Skyrim, uninstall Steam, and get everything up and running. Um, you can try and program files, just a big heads up that you may not be able to use the creation kit fixes that we're going to be using, and I'm going to call it out again in that episode. Consider reformatting. You're going to be a modder. Um, you're going to start writing mods. Uh, you want your file system and particularly your Steam and Skyrim and your mod organizers uh, kind of set up in a way that will help you do this. But, you know, your mileage may vary. I wish my jacket wouldn't keep doing that. My jacket keeps going away. How do I keep my jacket from going away? I can sit like this. It's really weird to sit like this, right? It's super stupid. We're gonna install the creation kit after that and make a mod. We're going to go through mod managers. Uh, you may have a strong preference for Vortex or Mod Organizer 2. If you have a preference for Nexus Mod Manager, you're going to install it and and ins uninstall it and install a more modern mod manager. NMM or Nexus Mod Manager is old, shouldn't be using it. And if you find documentation out there on forums that refer to it, just know that they're referring to an older mod manager and the documentation may be old and out of date, but it's fine. Uh, we're going to learn how to write scripts outside of Creation Kit. I wish I could use my finger here, but nope. XSplit. XSplit is making things suck. Uh, we're going to write scripts uh, outside of the Creation Kit because that's what you're going to do as a, as a scripter. You don't really need to live in Creation Kit for most of it. What you want is an awesome text editor. We're going to learn how to use SKSE. If you've been modding Skyrim for a while, you've been asked to install it. You may not know what it actually does and why mod authors want it. You're going to know by the end of that episode because you're going to write scripts that use it directly. And then we'll finally go over, after a little bit more tooling, the basics of the Skyrim Papyrus language. This will be a little bit more annoying if I'm small. Let's make me small. Hi, I'm down here, I'm small. And you can't tell that my jacket is fading in and out as much. Man, it's gonna be really annoying. I just reformatted in my green screen. It's just, it's just not working as well. We're gonna go over the basics of the Skyrim scripting language. We're going to go over some of the common modding utilities and libraries, we'll learn what a library is that allow you to extend your scripts and add more functionality a bunch easier. We're going to finally then go over the full anatomy of what a mod looks like. We're going to download a couple mods, open them up, look at all the individual files inside of them. We'll also look at the individual files inside of the Skyrim installation directory learn about all those different file types, install a bunch of tools that let you view and edit those files. We'll probably make a patch to a mod that we install so that you can see how to make a change to an existing mod and you'll run it and get to see, cool, you made a change. Ooh, and you could distribute that to other people if you wanted to. Speaking of which, the second to last episode, we're going to package up your mod. We're going to show you how to package it up so it's ready to put on Nexus Mods or GitHub or wherever you want to put your mod. And then we'll do a closing episode. I'm calling it Ready for Adventure. Um, you should be ready at that point to watch the rest of my screencast that I can't wait to record. I've been trying to get through this series first because I think it's more important for me to teach folks how to get started than it is for me to release some nerdy um, screencasts on how to do things like create your own custom console commands, which is what I want to record next. Um, so I'm going to get this done. You'll be ready for adventure. You'll be ready to watch other people's screencasts. I'm stoked for you. 
I've been having so much fun modding Skyrim. I've been writing code for like 15 years, but I've only been writing Skyrim mods for a little bit, and it's so much fun. You're gonna love it. It's going to take a lot of your time from your life, and I apologize for that because you're gonna find it such a fun hobby, and I hope that at least one person who watches this video series posts a Nexus mod up and uh, even better, I hope someone out there makes a popular mod. Doesn't matter whether your mod is popular or not though, so long as you like it. And generally, so long as one other person out there finds it useful. So let's get started, are you ready? All right, happy modding. Thank you. 